For nearly a generation, the Boeing 757 has been the undisputed leader of the mid-market airspace. Right from its introduction, 757 quickly became a jewel in the crown of its maker, drawing immediate enthusiasm from passengers and pilots alike till now. However, everything will be changed. Airbus just revealed new big plan with the Airbus A321 XLR to replace the Boeing 757. Find out in today's episode why Airbus A321 XLR will replace the Boeing 757, what makes a 321 XLR much better, how Boeing reacts to this. A 321 XLR is poised to be the aircraft that will enable 757 to retire, and to understand this transition, we must look back to its roots. So why would Airbus introduce such a model when the 321 LR was already in existence? Going back to basics before any aircraft launch, manufacturers must thoroughly evaluate the plane's prospects. Will it succeed? Will it be financially viable? Among the key considerations is seizing a market with scant competition, a situation that persists even after five years. With Boeing not advancing a middle market airliner, Airbus has a solid foundation to build on. Airbus was confident that they could expand their market share without the need to introduce the speculated A322 or start from scratch. They anticipated that airlines would increasingly turn to them upon recognizing the lack of viable alternatives from Boeing. During the 2019 unveiling of the XLR, many airlines that had been hopeful for a Boeing innovation ultimately placed orders for the XLR. As the anticipated dedicated replacement for the 757 did not materialize, these companies started to seek other options, leading to the rise in prominence of the XLR. The Airbus A321 belonging to the 320 family has served the short to medium range, narrow body, commercial passenger jet sector since 1994. It comes in two variants. The CEO, standing for current engine option, which concluded production in 2021, and the NEO, or new engine option, in production since 2016. The NEO stands out with its efficient engines, extended body, and structural improvements, allowing for over 15% more weight capacity, which is over 20,000 pounds at takeoff, and up to 15% fuel savings. These engines are produced by Pratt and & Whitney, and also featured in both a 321 LR standing for long range and XLR or extra long range. These two are essentially NEO variants with extended capabilities due to their larger fuel tanks. A 321 LR includes three auxiliary tanks, while the XLR introduces Airbus's ingenious rear center tank, or RCT. The rear center tank alone equals the capacity of three additional center tanks, and there's an option for an extra forward tank to maximize the XLR's range. With the rear center tank, optional forward tank, and an expanded center wing tank, the XLR can cover an impressive 4,700 nautical miles, a remarkable distance for a single-aisle aircraft. Nonetheless, as per Reuters, Airbus has concurred with European authorities on alterations to the rear center tank. These changes will increase the aircraft's weight by an additional 800 kilograms, consequently diminishing its range to 4,500 nautical miles, and this is a slight setback for Airbus. Despite this, the aircraft's specifications, including its ability to transport 244 passengers in a single-class layout, render the XLR an almost ideal option for the mid-market segment, which is predominantly occupied by Boeing 757. However, the Boeing 757, which is no longer produced since 2005, is aging, and it must be replaced by modern compliant aircraft. In this case, a 321 XLR is a fitting successor. But first, let's define the middle of the market or MOM aircraft. These aircraft are to fill the niche between massive wide-body aircraft seating up to 800 passengers and smaller narrow-body jets, typically seating fewer than 200 passengers. Middle-of-the-market aircraft, which usually seat 200 to 300 passengers for medium-haul distances, are designed for short runway takeoffs and enough fuel for over 4,500 miles, balancing fuel efficiency and capacity for profitability on lower-demand routes. Middle-of-the-market aircraft are typically deployed on routes that accommodate nearly 200 passengers traveling distances approaching 4,000 miles with minimal stopovers. The demand for aircraft in this category has surged recently, outpacing other aircraft sizes. This spike in demand has underscored the pressing need for airlines to modernize their fleets to cater to passenger preferences. Although Boeing 757s are currently the frontrunners in this market segment, Boeing confronts a significant challenge. The majority of their fleet is over two decades old, leading some 
some carriers to either repurpose these aircraft for cargo or gradually retire them in favor of more contemporary models. This shift opens the door for Airbus's A321 lineup and perhaps more notably, the forthcoming A321 XLR to potentially dominate this market segment, a prospect that becomes clear upon closer examination. While the Airbus A321 XLR is set for release in 2024, with its maiden flight possibly occurring in 2025, the public already has access to most of its specifications, providing insights into its expected performance. This spells potential challenges for Boeing. The conversation begins with fuel efficiency. Although the age of an aircraft is a factor, airlines prioritize efficiency and profitability over age. In this regard, the XLR significantly outperforms the Boeing 757 due to its advanced Pratt & Whitney engines from the renowned GTF series. These engines, identical to those used in the A320neo, are reputed to reduce fuel consumption by 16%, outperforming 757. The XLR's appeal is further enhanced by its environmental credentials, meeting the demands of an eco-conscious era. This is evident in substantial orders from airlines like United and Indigo, the latter placing a record order at the Paris Air Show for 500 Airbus A320 family aircraft, including 69 XLRZ. In size, the Boeing 757 still has an advantage over the 321 XLR. However, the XLRA's slightly wider internal cabin offers additional comfort for passengers. Its range, now at 4,500 nautical miles, exceeds the 757-200 by 600 nautical miles, enabling longer, non-stop flights, much to the delight of airlines. The extended range of the XLR not only provides fuel efficiency but also economic benefits, opening up popular routes beyond 4,000 nautical miles such as Vancouver to Tokyo or London to settle. This potential has airlines excited about the XLR as it enables a variety of medium to long haul all routes. Considering the potential advancements in efficiency of the Airbus A321 XLR in the midsize market, it raises questions about Boeing's strategy to maintain its share in this segment. Boeing has been active yet seemingly ineffective simultaneously. Known for its proactive approach, Boeing's success isn't attributed to complacency. Despite the aging 757S, their reliability has kept them in the ranks of successful aircraft. In the dynamic aviation sector, continuous innovation is crucial for sustained competitiveness. Boeing is well aware of this and has endeavored to address the emerging gap in the mid-market range posed by Airbus's latest models. Although not successful, Boeing's efforts included conceptualizing a new aircraft, 797, in 2015. However, shifting focus to 737 MAX, intended as a competitor to the A321neo, proved problematic due to repeated issues with the maneuvering characteristics augmentation system, resulting in two tragic accidents between 2017 and 2019. The subsequent grounding during the COVID-19 pandemic caused significant financial losses and a lingering trust deficit. However, it is notable that Boeing's plans for the 797 development were halted due to engine unavailability. But, Boeing was said to have engaged in preliminary discussions with Rolls-Royce regarding the integration of the cutting-edge ultrafan engines into their forthcoming new mid-size airplanes. Initially, ultrafan's developmental delays suggested that Boeing might opt for a turbofan engine from established manufacturers like General Electric or Pratt & Whitney. However, should Boeing initiate the NMA's development promptly, the ultrafan slated for a 2027 debut emerges as a feasible choice. The engine's technology Technology and design are crucial to the 797's anticipated efficiency and performance, and the Ultrafan has already demonstrated potential in this regard. With a powerful engine option on the horizon, the idea of the 797 is quite possible, but even if Boeing can eventually introduce the 797 to the market, there is still a major hurdle that would make it less appealing than a 321 XLR, and that hurdle is a special certification for pilots to fly it. The Airbus A320 series is already well known, and all the planes in that series use the same certification. This means that pilots can switch from flying one model, like the A319, to another, like the 321 Long Range, with just a simple online course. There are plenty of pilots and training programs ready for the A320 series, but the 797 could be so unique that it would need its own new certification, which could cost airlines a lot to train their pilots. All in all, with no new mid-sized aircraft announced, 
and a focus on the 737 MAX series, Boeing's position in the mid-market is precarious. The industry's demand for mid-market airplanes is growing, and Boeing's inaction could lead to a significant loss of market share to Airbus's A321 series. Boeing's dominance in cargo freight remains, but Airbus's focus on passenger experience could shift the balance. While Boeing's size and market presence may allow for a delayed response, the fast-paced aviation industry waits for no one. Boeing must act swiftly to retain its mid-market position or risk being overtaken by Airbus's newer models. The future of aviation is unfolding, and Boeing's next moves will be critical in determining its role in the mid-market sector. Whether Boeing can stage a comeback or will have to concede to Airbus's ascendancy is a question only time will answer. The clock is ticking, and Boeing's window of opportunity is narrowing.